Welcome. Today we're going to create a rocket launch animation. Let's get started by changing the settings. So let's click on the settings here and let's name the animation rocket. I'll change the background color to a light blue or a blue. And then I'll change the height to 780 and then I'll just hit apply. So I'll zoom out a little bit. Then I'm going to start by adding the images and the asset library. So I'll click the upload assets. Uh, by this time, you should have downloaded the images. Click open. And I'll start by adding the first image, which is the rocket somewhere in the center of the screen. Your canvas. All right. Once we have that rocket, I'm going to expand the frames to uh, I'm going to expand this frame to about five frames and then I'll go on frame six I'll add the rocket again so I'll just copy it first and then on six I'll just go ahead and paste it so if you turn on onion skinning you can see it's right on top of the other one and I'll just name this layer rocket I'll add a new layer to add the flames. I'll name this layer flames. I'll start by adding flame one and frame six, right uh, where the rocket is by itself. So I'll drag flame one and just put it, and just put it underneath, make sure you click on it. There you go. So I might have to zoom in, so make sure you zoom in and use the pan button to drag your canvas up. Position the flame right below the rocket. Okay, once you're satisfied, I'm going to animate the flames. So cursor, select the flame, I'll click make clip, name that timeline flames and then I'll hit edit timeline um, I'll zoom in and on frame 2 I'm going to add the second flame and then just put it like offset it a little bit on top of the other but offset it a little bit and then you hit play see how that looks if that looks okay go back to project window Okay, now I'm going to zoom out so I can see the rocket again. And I'm going to use the pan to move it up and zoom in again. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I, I selected the cursor. I'm going to expand both layers, the rocket and the flames, all the way to 20. So on frames 1 through 5, you will just see the rocket and then from 6 to 20 it will start to light up so let's hit play so you can see what that looks so far okay now I'm going to add a new uh, layer and I'll name that layer countdown I'll click on frame um, 6 and then I'll start by adding a number so I'll click on the text tool and change the color to let's say red and then click and type um, three cursor and i'll just resize that number and then um, i'll expand that to five frames so we can actually see the countdown now i'll click on 11 and again, I'll click on the text tool and then type two, select the cursor and expand that number to the same size of the previous one. And then I'll expand that five frames as well. And then I'll go to the next one, which is 16 and I'll create the next number which will be one and then resize it first and I'll expand that frame to 20 so 
I'll start up from one again. If I hit play, this is what it looks like. There we go. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm frame 21. I'm going to copy the rocket and the flames. So I'll start with on the rocket layer on frame 21. I'll go back and copy the rocket. And then on 21, I'll paste it. And then go back to flames. Select the flame, copy, and then I'll paste it on 21. And paste, there you go. So now that I have both, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start animating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to expand the rocket all the way to, let's say, frame 35. And also the flames to 35. And then um, I'll click on Add Twin for both. Make sure you go to Rocket as well, Add Twin. And then I'm going to click on 35. Let me hit the pan button here, move so I can see the screen at the top. Okay, so with the cursor, I'm going to select the rocket and then just move it up. And then I'll do the same thing on the flames. Just move it up. Make sure you zoom in on it. Use the pan to move it down. And push it in with the keys, the keyboard, the arrow keys. Zoom out. And let's, um, let's hit play to see how that looks. There you go. We have completed our rocket animation. Once you're done with it, don't forget to go to export and export as GIF. Again, if you're using a Chromebook, it will download into your downloads folder. Give it a name. I'll put it in, in downloads. Um, you can keep that name if you like. And then you see it save. And then don't forget to show in folder and then from here just drag it into your Google Classroom. Um, also make sure you click on the X to close it and then I will need a screenshot of your timelines so I can see what you did uh, once you have completed it. All right, have a great day.